Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I've got some grandkids here that love pizza, and we made some a day or two ago when I didn't turn the camera on. So I'm going to bring y'all over to the mixer, and today we're going to use the Bosch mixer and show you how to make a quick and easy and delicious pizza crust. Troy even commented, he said, I like this, it's not so hard. So I've told y'all before that one time or two times I've had Linda Franzo from the Passionate Platter in Slidell, Louisiana come to my home and teach some cooking classes. And um, one time it was on pizzas. And we fired up our Primo, which is like the big green egg, only it's made in the USA. And we did some, uh, it was like a wood fire pizza cooker. Oh, those pizzas were delicious. But today we're just going to cook them in the oven. But I'm going to show you how to make this pizza crust. And from you make it and let it rest 30 minutes and it's ready to, to use. You can, this has been one of the best recipes that I got from the classes with Linda. And I've shared it with so many people and they have thoroughly enjoyed it. Especially people with kids and grandkids that love pizza. Well, I was my grandma's grandkid and my mama's kid, so I guess I qualify as a kid or grandkid because I love Y'all come on over to the mixer and I'll show you what okay, you Into the eat. mixing bowl, I'm going to add four cups of flour. And I'm probably going to make another batch because this makes about three little medium pizzas. And in case y'all are going to ask me where I got these measuring cups, I got them from Sur La Table when I worked there. Okay. And I got this container off Amazon. No, I didn't. I got it from Zoo Lily, but Amazon has them. Okay, we're going to need a tablespoon of yeast. And I keep this in the refrigerator or the ice box to make it last longer. I'm going to put a snitch extra because it's a little bit old. I've been using sourdough a lot and haven't used a lot of yeast. We want two teaspoons of sugar. So if y'all want to write this down now, it's three to four cups of flour, a tablespoon of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. One and a half cups of warm water, but we're going to put half of the water in and then the other half in. So three to four cups of flour, a tablespoon of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Now I'm putting my salt on the side where I didn't put the yeast. And I'm going to turn this on and just let it kind of mix a little bit and then I'll add the water to it. Now I'm fixing to drizzle in one and a half cups of warm water that's at about 110, 115 degrees. Okay, it's cleaned the sides of the bowl, and I'm going to let it rest for about 30 minutes. It says to put it in plastic wrap, so that's what the I'm going to do. The rest of it, I'm going to take it over to the butcher block, and we'll wrap it in plastic wrap for about 30 minutes, and then we'll make us some pizza dough. Pizza crust. Okay, I'll see y'all at the butcher okay. block. Okay, I'm just going to scrape it out, put it on this plastic wrap, and let it rest for 30 minutes. And then we'll be back and divide it up and make um, probably three pizzas. And that's what I did uh, the day before yesterday. I just made my dough and uh, we made one or two and put the dough in the refrigerator. And after a while we made some more. So I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. It'll puff up just like it's supposed to and then we'll divide it into... Uh, like three or either two large ones and make now some Now I went pizzas. ahead and made another batch where we would have twice as much, but I want to show y'all. This one is the one that's been sitting the longest and it's already rising. I guess I need to give it a little bit of slack here, don't I? Where it can uh, puff on up for me. And this one has been for less time, but I also was going to show you I just, to store the little individual ones, I put some olive oil in a Ziploc bag 
and I just um, oil it all around and that way when I put my piece of dough in there it doesn't just glump like it's doing to this right here. So we're going to divide these up and some of them are going to go in the, the ice box for them pizzas later tonight or tomorrow. Okay, this one has risen for 30 minutes and this one has risen for about 15. So I'm going to take this one and divide it in maybe three. I could weigh it, but it's not that important. What I'm going to do right now, because I'm, I'm uh, just getting the crust ready, the kids will have to decide what they want on theirs. But I'm just going to take my crust and work it just a snitch. See, it's not sticking to my hands. It's a wonderful, smooth dough. A little bit tacky, but that's okay. So, now that I've got it just balled around, I'm going to put it in this oil bag, twirl it around, and let it sit here for a minute. When I finish this video, the kids will be in here to make their, choose their toppings. Mine is going to be a traditional supreme. That's what I like. A little bit of everything. I have browned some hamburger, and I'm browning some Italian sausage, and... We'll have some pepperoni, and they like to do garlic. They love garlic. I've told y'all that. They my my garlic eaters. This one's probably gonna be a little bit smaller. You can also make calzones with this. You can take it and uh, put you a cheese stick in it and bake it, and then dip that in your uh, pizza sauce. Y'all, it's good. There's lots of different. It's just so quick and easy to make. You folks with children, Matthew, tell your mama to make you some of this. This is quick and easy. Matthew is my little adopted internet grandson, and I know he should like pizza. I mean, he's a kid, ain't he? I hope it's new for some of y'all and not something that you've had that you made. I mean, I'm sure you don't have this exact recipe. Linda, I'm browning off my sausage. Linda's grandma actually came over here from Italy. So this is a true authentic pizza, pizza dough. And on my second one that I made there, I'm going to tell y'all what I did. On this one, when I was mixing it, I added in a tablespoon of onion powder and a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder just to give it some flavor in the crust. See, these are the ones I was telling you. You put it in the ice box and make it tonight or tomorrow. It'll puff up, but that's okay. Just puff it down, roll it out, use it. Or you can put them in the freezer and they'll be ready for you to just pull out and use when you need them. So I need to get this uploaded for Tuesday so y'all can have it for the rest of the week and the weekend because it's spring break here and you might need to make pizza for the little. Okay, my second one has risen and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to guesstimate and divide it out and get it separated here and this is going to be the prepping and then y'all will see us actually making our pizzas in the next video so hope y'all can see what I'm doing I'm just rolling it around working it just a little bit then I'm going to oil it until we get ready to use it where it won't dry out and I have that garlic flavored olive oil that I told y'all I got at Costco one time. Couldn't get any more of it. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Pat my pizza. Pizza dough with it. Pat it real good. Little baby pizza. Just pat it little behind and make it, make it soft. And we'll probably end up making some of the both batches but okay we're gonna roll it out and I have sprinkled our rolling uh, sheet here with a little bit of corn uh, meal and we're gonna take our pizza pans and spray them a little bit with some uh, kitchen spray so they nah, I think I'll just put a little bit of this olive oil on there 
so they won't stick. We'll just oil them up a little bit. We're going to do it. Did you tell Richard to come on in? Okay. Okay, I've got those oiled and waiting. Now we're going to roll our pizza dough out. I like to pull it and shape it as much as I can. Of course, I, I wish I knew how to do that twirl it and thin it and all that, but I hadn't mastered that yet. The three second rule or the five second rule wouldn't apply when it hit the floor. Okay. See if I can get mine rolled out and on my pan. And I could press it on there. But I'm not going to do that. And it's kind of thick dough. I think a lot of it is according to your humidity and how much liquid it holds. Troy don't like a real thin crust, so I'm going to make this crust a little bit bigger. And then he probably, I don't know if he'll even want any or not. He's not hungry all the time like we are. Well, that was pretty good without measuring, wasn't it? See if I can make it go up. Now, they like to make their crust go up the edges and make stuffed crust on the edges. And that makes it pretty yummy. Look at there. How about that one? How about that crust? Woohoo! Okay, next. Let me put some cornmeal down, buddy. Okay, you do yours. You won't be showing only your hands. Can't you just turn it off? You did one of them. Y'all hear her. Turn it off. I've seen you do one of them. She's my darling. But she's not being agreeable with me today. Okay. So that's how we make the crust and get them on the pan. And um, then we'll show y'all in the next video what we put on them to make pizza. Okay, Richard's going to roll his crust out. On your mark, get set, go. I don't know. I forgot what you told me to do. Just get the, get the roller and roll it. Press and roll from the middle out. Get in the middle and yeah, buddy. Now pull it back towards you from the middle or go all the way around. You're trying to make it as round as you can get it. Now you can, uh-oh, fold that back over and pull it back towards you. You're doing a good job, bud. Yours is looking good. You see where you don't, it's flat there? Pull that towards you. Yeah, there. Josh, hand in one of those pans. Now pick it up, flop it on one of these pans Josh is giving you. Okay, don't, don't let it fold on itself. Pull it around. Try to not tear it, but try to have some hanging over because that's where you make your stuffed crust. You, you roll some mozzarella up in that extra. No, you can't roll it on there. You just got to pull it with your hands. This is fun, y'all. Y'all can't see his face, but that's Richard's hands working. His hands do lots of stuff for us. Then you're going to see my other grandson, Josh's hands, in a minute. He does lots of stuff, too. Okay, Bubba. Um, set yours aside. Here, hand it to me. Okay, Josh, get that other pan right there. Just going to sprinkle some cornmeal so it won't stick so bad. Okay. Put him out of there. That's why you oil it, because that way it doesn't stick. Now you need to just press it with your hands into a circle as much as you can. Hope y'all's hands are clean. If it's not, you're going to eat your own pizza. That's okay. 
all the way out as much as you can and then what you need to do is uh, let me sprinkle a little of this on it so that when you start rolling it it won't stick and then you'll roll it out see these lines here that gives you a little bit of an idea making chefs out of these boys they're good yard boys and good all kinds of boys so I'll let them be a chef too if, if you get it a little bit bigger, that's okay, because you're going to want to stuff you some cheese in the surrounding area. Lauren's will be done here in a minute. I've got it on convection. I didn't want it to get soggy, because she put fresh tomatoes in hers. Hers will be done here shortly. Okay, baby, let's see. Now see if you can pull it around and get you some up on there, and then we'll get one more done. Uh, let's see, I think I got one more pan back here. Just put set that one somewhere where you know which one's yours when we start filling it. I've got one more to go last. You can if you want to. We gotta do one more. There's Lauren's pizza ready. I'm going to make it mix up some more dough while I got those old bags to put in the freezer. Okay. Bubba, tell Lauren that her pizza's ready. Okay, Joshy, if you want to roll that one, I'll get hers out of the oven. Okay, let's pull it around. Make us some... I wish we knew how to twirl it in the air. We'll have to practice that one day. We'll have to practice the twirling that. Okay, thank you, dear. Y'all sure would be happy if you could smell in this kitchen all this garlic and goodness going on. This is the video for the prepping. Making the crust was the main thing I wanted to show y'all how to do. And then I just want you to see Lauren making her own special little sauce. And uh, I'm gonna do another video of what all we put on the pizzas. So for right now, I'm signing off, getting ready for part two, because one of the grandkids ain't here yet. So when they get here, we'll make pizzas, and um, y'all will get to see what we put on our pizzas and maybe give you some ideas of something that you don't do. The Lord bless and keep y'all to come back here, and we'll have something good, a pizza.